there is more meaning and mutual understanding in exchanging a glance with a gorilla than any other animal I know. We're so similar. Their sight, their hearing, their sense of smell are so similar to ours that we see the world in the same way as they do. They live in the same sort of social groups. Sometimes they even allow others to join in. And he just sat there really quietly and it, it, the way he was talking, he was talking very quietly. And he's very tall. Yeah, I notice he's very tall because when he's sitting down, he's really sprawly. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he, you know, he could get close if he came into my space. I mean, I wouldn't let him walk all over me, but I think David Attenborough's probably got a got an empathy with nature, and and not just animals, you know, but any living things, you know. It's like you're sitting down with a mate and he's telling you all these stories. What is he? He's not an archaeologist, is he? What 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 what's his? Um, he's not a naturist. He doesn't go around naked, does he? Does he? Uh, this is my best David impression. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> the moment in Blue Planet when we see the first overhead shot of a blue whale in the water is just breathtaking because it made me realise how enormous these animals are. It's a special moment because these are the biggest animals on our planet but are so rarely seen.